Hello once again, Servants of the God Emperor. So, ah, uh, dear me, I've been reading the news lately regarding Games Workshop and the Age of Sigma. Oh my god. Yeah. It's, it's all gone to shit. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so anyway, we are continuing our, our mission into Armageddon. Um, I hope the sound isn't too loud. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit as I kind of destroy my ears. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't sound too bad, but I do like to hear. I do appreciate not having 24-7 headaches. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we'll go with the Oglins at the forefront. I mean, why not? They're a good, strong, solid unit. Have the command behind them. Costs shits and giggles. Um, I really don't know what we're going to be facing here. There's a lot of open terrain. A hell of a lot of open terrain. Um, some city positions. So I suppose some Inferno cannons wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think we'll stay with maybe one. Mm, one should be okay. A destroyer, yeah, it's 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 uh it's not too um, omnipurpose. The orcs really don't have uh, particularly too many in the way of um, solid vehicles. But then again, probably face like some kind of skull hammer battle fortress or something like that. Obviously, I'll bring the vanquishers because vanquishers are freaking awesome. Vanquish I'm going to get rid of the Bombard and replace it with another Basilisk, because Basilisks have, like, longer range, which is quite lovely. Yeah. Uh, we do have the Ogden Veterans, which is interesting. Uh, ooh, the Basilisk Armageddon pattern. Uh, what is the difference? You have more armor. You have more armor. You... Have, uh, Less shots, apparently. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this armor piercing? No, so it just has more armor. Okay. I don't particularly know the difference. It's kind of strange. Oh, okay. There we go. Now we can see the difference. So, the normal basilisk is cheaper. It has seven less armor, but other than that... Functionally, yeah, the same. Except the Basilisk Armageddon pattern may be somewhat more accurate. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, it says 900. Uh, Medusa. Does the Medusa have longer range? No, it does not. So these are the current stats, okay. Okay, so we don't need a Medusa. I want a Titan. I do want a Titan. I do like how the tanks look. Thundra! That would be good, but the range is yeah, it's kind of pathetic and it's, yeah, meh. Is it really worth it? I don't know. How about you guys? What do you guys think? Should we go for something like that? Not that you're going to be able to reply due to this being uh, recorded in the past! Which is my present. It's like time travel and it's just a bit cheaper and not shitter. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll go with another basilisk and I said I'd go with another basilisk and by Jove I'm going to go with another basilisk. Ah, screw it. Just deploy everything. Deploy all the things. Right, yo. Objectives down here. Are we ready, ladies? I believe we are. Uh, Ogrins can... Uh, move here. Okay. Kind of wish I brought, like, some kind of scout sentinel. Can I afford one? I could probably afford one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so the Armageddon pattern obviously has a lot more armor, which is quite nice, if I'm honest. So I think I will pick up a Armageddon pattern sentinel. There we go. I mean, it's good to have the armor. That's what it, that's what it's about. Do they not have a transport? I don't think they actually do have a transport. That's not really too good. And again, Strange. Uh, okay. Did not actually mean to do that, but I'll stick with it for now. Move him in and pack. Oh, hello there. Oh, that was lucky. 
in a strange way. Oh! Oh my god, we do have a titan! Holy shit, it's a reaver! Holy sweet, holy... Wow, Death Dread, big shooter. Oh my god! We have a fucking Reaver Battle Titan! What do we have on this baby? The Laser Buster, the Gatling Blast, and the Apocalypse Launch. Oh my god! I'm so happy right now! Um... Fuck it! We, we need to save our Titan. Not that it needs to be saved, it can fucking save us! Holy shit, 140 armor? Jesus! This thing is amazing, and it starts experience as well. Holy shit, I'm in heaven. Okay, let's um, let's take care of these pesky orcs. Sweet. Oh, it's still alive somehow. Okay. Right, we'll move him away, but just to protect him, or keep him out of range of return fire. Hello there, orky orcs. Oh, the Umbra! There we go. Oh dear. There, yeah, they should be fine. They have death gun? What's the death gun? Uh, it doesn't have that much armor penetration? Probably gonna end up losing that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Some units have not moved. Uh, which units does it refer to? Oh, those units. Okay, I don't give a shit. Yes. Oh, sweet mother of God. Wow, okay. Did not expect that. At all. Nope. Nope, it did nope. I'm on fire! Yeah, that did some good damage. Do we not have the firepower? Oh wait, we might be able to use the flamer. Or oh, not. God damn it. Uh, I doubt that'd be able to gain range. That may be able to... No, I don't think it will be able to. Okay. Move forward to the Armageddon pattern. Um, okay, so we do have some uh, looters over here. They're actually quite dangerous. Quite glad I brought the Hellhound. Okay. That's them uh, swiftly dealt with. Not seen anything. Oh, sweet mother of God! Oh, sweet Jesus! Mary and Joseph! Oh, come on. Right, we do need the Titan. Yep, should have definitely brought that towards us. Holy sweet moly, that's a lot of shit. And we can't afford any other units, okay. My lord! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow, okay, I I really, really underestimated what we would be facing. I seriously fucking underestimated that. Fuck me. God damn it, I should have like moved them over here. Oh well. Bloody hell. Yep, we need the Titan. Jesus. This mission is actually a hell of a lot harder than I imagined it would be. Never mind. Uh, 
For the Emperor. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I may even need to restart this, I don't know. Okay. We need to link the Titan up with our forces, there's no other way. Sweet. Moly. Where's the battle truck? Fuck. God, um... There's so many of them! What the hell? This scenario just kicks up the heat! Interesting. My god, it actually is quite powerful transport. Okay, we need to save our buddies. Okay. Taken care of about at least. Right, okay. God damn. Well, that was a painless turn. That's quite nice, actually. Uh, yeah, the darker guns don't mean shit. Bring the Titan. There we go. Is that it? Okay. These units just need to get the F out. And the Titan has arrived. Bloody hell, the range is actually quite respectable. Hmm. Suppose we should take out the looters. That did quite a good amount of damage. Yeah, I don't know why they don't have transports. You should really give them transports.
okay. Well, we are getting somewhere. I'm, I'm just amazed by the amount of resistance. It's huge. That just got a little bit further. Really, honestly, did not expect them to be that powerful. Oh, we are in range. Holy shit. We may lose this scenario. Just, I mean, goddamn. Or is this the only thing we need? What is our actual objective? Uh, where is the objective? There we go. Clear path to the auxiliary titan unit. Ah, move the auxiliary... Right, okay. So we just got to get the titan here then, apparently. And that's it. Well, that's easy enough. Holy mother of God. We need to take out these guns. Oh my! Multiple orc gargons detected inbound. Evacuate your forces from the area immediately. Mannerheim's Stuhler Helper Titan must continue towards the Victory Hex alone. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we have to get going, okay. Ah, uh, fuckity fuck fuck. GTFO! Right, we can bring some artillery just to help out. Right, there we go, that's like one taken care of. Okay. Oh, please live. Okay. Okay, that seems to be it. Oh, God damn. Oh, shit! Right, stompers, fuck. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, who the fuck are these guys? Fuck this shit. Oh fucking Christ almighty. Oh my god. <laughs> Kill them. Kill them all. GTFO! Get it. Oh my god! Is that victory? Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh my god, it's a bloody slaughter! Oh, we need to get out. We need to get out. There, ne there needs to be some way out. Let's get out! Oh my god. Okay, end the turn and pray. End the turn and pray. 
Oh, we're gonna lose so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. He's in the victory hex. He's in the victory hex. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, <sighs> right, let's review the map. Look at all this shit. Oh my god! A flakadaka. That sounds so fucking amazing. Jesus. So we got what? Wrecked. Oh my god. Battle fortresses. Fucking gargant. Bloody hell. Good luck to you there, mate. He has sacrificed himself, slaying countless orcs and their accursed gargants in the process. A true martyr to the Imperium. Would you consider that? A waste, Commander? Fucking hell. No, the powers of the Titan have truly earned their blades at the Emperor's side. Yes, I do. The Legio Metallica have been sacrificed too cheaply. A Titan Legion would have been a powerful tool in the months of war to come. Our resources are too valuable to waste. This I'm going to end up rescuing you, aren't I? I have new orders in, and so we must take our leave. I hope to fight with you again someday. Commander, you are approaching the Paladus Mountain. The mountain range has always been treacherous with lava flows and unpredictable volcanic explosions. But now with the warp storm surrounding us, the volcanoes are in constant eruption and the sky is clogged with superheated ash. There is no reliable way over mountains, by air or on foot. You must circumnavigate the whole range. Heading west will take you to Infernus. His hive is in the east. Intelligence is scarce on how deep the orc incursion into Secundus is. So, I cannot advise you on the best route. We go to Hades, or we go to Infernus. Right, so the Palladius Mountains. The mountain range has always been treacherous with lava flows and unpredictable volcanic explosions. Constant eruption. Ah, uh, heading west will take you to Infernus. Hades hives in the east. Hmm. Uh let's go to Infernus. Commander, your route is a dangerous one. The governor of Infernus has oh, really? the hive without a fight. The traitor. The hive is yet to be taken by the orcs, but already armed citizens are fleeing into the desert. Intelligence suggests scattered units of orc fighters have sneaked through our defenses along the Infernus River and are now pursuing the refugees. That is no more than they deserve. Leaving the hive without even a token resistance. The Emperor would abandon us if he witnessed such actions. The Emperor already has. Oh. Your heresy, just tell the commander what he must know. Regimental command requests that, as you are close, you must protect the fleeing citizens from the orcs until they are out of the area. She would be executed. I'm pretty damn sure he would have executed her on the bloody spot. Escort at least three auxiliary refugee units to the settlement on top of the map. So from here? Oh my god. Okay, so we only need three of them. So really I think we should just go for the uh then again. It's the shortest route, but we need to just kinda of go through this bit, don't we? But then again going through the canyon is kinda of suicide, so maybe up and around, maybe up and around. It might make more sense that way. Okay. Uh, let's see. So those Ogrins have a transport. These ones do not. So we'll disband these ones. Right. The Steel Legion Infantry. Let's see. Do we have anything new? Mortars. Okay. I'm pretty sure we have those already. Uh, not seen any new units. Okay, right. Well, we don't have titans. I wish we had titans, but no, we do not have titans. Did our artillery survive? Only one of them survived. God fucking damn it. The same mission I bought, another one on it. Fucking dies. 
Uh, it's not particularly too useful. Oh, we could have high militia. Interesting. Steel Legion. So they're 460 with that? Fuck that. It's great, but fuck that for just Steel Legion. Let's see. Um. Well, we are going to be placing Orcs. So, uh. Eradicate her. Can I attempt to try out the Nova Cannon? Ah, fuck it, I'll try the Nova Cannon. So, well, well, again. A grade A. That's interesting. Right, so the Executioner. Let's compare. So the Executioner is the same price as the Eradicator. It has more armor. It has uh, more initiative. It has less accuracy. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't know what this means. <laughs> So the Plasma Destroyer has less armor piercing, Plasma has less attack strength. Hmm, maybe not the best weapon for now. Let's see. Uh, the two auto cannons is pretty sweet. Let's compare. Oops. Yeah. So the Vanquish has longer range. And quite a good amount of things. So I think we'll probably go with another Vanquisher or something. Yeah, go for another Vanquisher. Uh, we do have three Vanquishers now, so that's quite a good, strong armored force. We have an Annihilator. Okay. Uh, we do need some skeleton ability, actually. Alright, so we have uh, 1,800 left. We can pick up another six units. So I'll pick up some. I'll pick up a sentinel. Maybe two sentinels. Hmm. Eh, yeah. We'll pick up two sentinels. It's pretty good to have some scouting ability, as we uh, could tell from the last match. Couldn't we? My god, that was painful. Steel Legion. Um, we'll go with few units of Steel Legion. Okay. Pretty low on uh, points here. Um, Lehman Russ. Ah, so that's uh, basically... Okay. Well, we could afford... Two Lehman Russes, so I think I'll go with two Lehman Russes. Like, why not? Get some more armor. Okay, and Zilla Blomant. Alright, so let's head into the woods and let's find out what's going on. Right. Well, we're not seeing any orcs as yet. Basically, the positions here will probably be occupied. So I think we'll just basically escort civilians where we know it's safe. Why the hell not? I think we have a pretty damn good uh, mechanized force now. Which is still Legion R, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of 